Okay, we're going to finish our tutorial. Uh, I got some uh, trim on line in the group. Just come in and uh, go ahead and download it. Right here. Uh, jeans texture. Click. And it's uh, top bottom jeans. That's what it says. Texture that I'm using. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Okay, we're going to be getting all that trim and everything from it. So we're going to start right here and cut a 3 inch by uh, whatever the left uh, uh, rectangle. I cut that out because we're going to use that. And uh, rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, cut and start pacing. In all, in all this red area. Okay. And paint it, uh, 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 paste it in all that area too. Now to get it sideways, you would have to unrotate and paste it and start pasting it down here. And keep pasting it all the way down. But then for to get it in the pockets area, you just paste it like this for the part that goes across and the part that goes downwards you just paste it uh, you know, uh, straight up and down if you want to or you can paste it this way don't matter but then uh, for the other way for this other way rotate at the end for the for the victory area for the for the uh, loops and paste it the other way for that part. But any kind of way it's out it's all got to be full. The only thing you do is the red part. Okay now we're working on our pocket. We're gonna get that paint from right now. Any color that you're trying to uh, add the trim to, just make sure you uh, select it and keep it selected to get all the trim and add it in there. Then you have to rotate the, some of the texture to get it in different areas. And you just rotate, rotate it back whenever you need it in different areas. Okay, now we're going to take our uh, jeans pocket and paste it in there where we need it at. Okay, flip. Paste it in there again. Okay, flip back. Okay, now we're ready to add our texture for our pants area. Oh, we need to start with this part first. Oh, we can come back to it. Okay.
take the gene out of it, we just take a piece of the can and we cut out like this. And then you paste it in another image. We're gonna lighten that a bit. So zoom in. And we're gonna uh, uh, saturate it with uh, some light color. I said we're gonna lighten it about uh, probably about 13. And cut and paste. Paste in there uh, all over. Just paste it in there. I'm a little afraid to. I can go all the way up like I need it to on that one. Make sure to go all the way to the top. And make sure you paste it all in there. And, uh, it don't matter about on top of each other or nothing like that because it's going to come out the same the way it goes. And do that all the way down. Okay, now we can select that and save. And now we can work on our uh, other part, which is the uh, uh, zipper area. So we come here and we measure from the edge about 10 feet across and 36 inches down. 10, 10, 36. Okay, let's see what I got here. Let me paste that in the turquoise area. But we just make sure it's right there on that part. And then uh, make sure it's uh, somewhere right here so that we can always tell what it's going to look like when we see it in the messenger. Okay, it's kind of what it's going to look like. Until we get the belt buckle on there in the boxer area. Okay, we're done with that part. Now we're going to find a texture for our bell area. Give me a minute. Okay, I found the texture that I'm going to use for my bell area. I'm just going to paste that in there. How I need it. It's just black leather texture. We're just going to paste that all the way across. Okay, save. And look at it in the preview. Okay. Now we're done with the belt area. Okay. And we're done with the buckle. That's it for this part of the tutorial.